Hello friends, uh, welcome again. And this is my project online nursery store. And I have developed this project in uh, Java Spring Boot, Angular and MySQL. On the Spring Boot site, I'm using STS ID, Spring Boot Tools Source ID, JDK 1.8, and the uh, mask and the uh, Tomcat was Tomcat server for running the APIs. And this is a microservice based architecture. On the Angular side, so I'm using Visual Studio Code for ID, uh, CMD for running the project and some of the HTML CSS and also some of the JavaScript, right? So for port uh, for front end part phase means for the Angular part, I'm using the port 4200 and for back end part, I'm using the port, port 8080, right? 8080 for the uh, Spring Boot application, right? So, and the version of the MySQL version, MySQL, I'm using MySQL version 5.6. So these all technology stacks I have used for developing this project online nursery tool. So let's start with the functionality, go through that, what the features are available, what are the modules are available inside this project, right? So this is a mini project which has only and only customer operations. There is nothing, there is no uh, admin operation inside this project because it's a mini project. If you want it with admin, there is another project available on our website which has admin panel too. You can check that project also. So the, once you run this project and if you open this project on localhost port 4200, then you will get this home page. So you can see this is the home page and you can see there are a lot of products coming on the home page and these products are coming from the database through API, right? From MySQL database through Spring Boot API, right? And this is the Angular application which consuming which is, is consuming the API and rendering the products here, right? If you click on the buy now, then you will be able to see the details of the product, right? And if you click on the add to cart, then you will not be able to add item into the cart without login. So it's a mandatory thing that you must have the login details. This is about project. This is a static page. There is nothing dynamic on it. This is all product, all of the products uh, which is available in the database will be displayed here, right? This is a customer login from where customer can log in and customer can perform certain operations. This is a registration from here customer can register. Right? If customer doesn't have user ID and password, then customer can register and customer can create user ID and password. And after that, he can log in and buy the products by the online nursery store products. This is a contact us and this is a static page. There is nothing dynamic on it. We are not sending a type of email and SMS from this page. Even we are not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database too. So this is a totally static page. Now I am going to log in as a customer. So the user ID is submit at the gmail.com and password is test. Once you log in, you will get this home page, dashboard page, right? It will come only and only after the customer login, right? If customer is login, then you will be able to get the page. So you can see, Home option, I already explained you, dashboard. So this is a dashboard. If you click on the dashboard, it will come here only. About all categories, all products, right? So this is all categories. So there is nothing here, right? Because we have moved the category out. So this is a my cart. So you can see there is a nothing inside your cart. And this is a my orders from where you will be able to see all of the orders, right? So the, sorry. So in the my orders page, you will be able to see all of the orders, right? So you can see these all are the orders. If you click on the any of the orders, you will be able to see the details of the order, right? Total amount, order date, order number, each and everything you will be able to get. So this is a my account page from where you will be able to update your account details. So these are the my accounts page from where you will be able to get your account details and you can update it also. So I'm going to some um, buy some of the products from here so this is a buy now add to cart so i have added one item to the cart and now the second one add to cart so two items into the cart all products this is a buy now add to cart three items into the cart all products buy now add into the cart so four items into the cart right if I want to delete any item, just click on the delete button. That item will be deleted from your card. So total amount, you need to pay is that much amount, right? Okay. So once you click on the checkout, then you will get the payment page. This is a dummy 
dummy payment phase there is nothing dynamic on it right so we are entering uh, so this is a static page and we are not uh, validating any of the card information we are not making any type of real time transactions so these are the totally static page right so you can enter whatever you want right because there is no validation available on this page right so select month amount total amount you need to pay 17000 rupees once you click on the make payment so you can see the order id has been created and uh, the order state is paid total amount is 17000 rupees right and these are the product ids if you want to see the orders in what my order section just click on the my orders and this is the 301 order id so you can see the order id details are here right so this is the logout and once you click on the logout then above admin menu will not be displayed right because it's a session driven and it's rendering according to the session right so logout you can see the above menu is not displaying because it's rendering according to the session now it's coming right so these all functionalities i have developed inside this project online nursery store and as i told you earlier this is a mini project developed in java spring boot angular and maestro and which has only and only customer operations there is no admin operations there in service project but if you need any enhancement any extra feature in this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much